so we got Colt right here. We got Colt <laughs> finally back on the channel. On, we got the sub box. So in November, we have Myrtle Beach Truck Week, and my goal is to get the sub box done by Myrtle Beach Truck Week. Um, so I don't know if we'll be able to, I don't know if we'll get it 80% done, 90% done. Right now it's probably like 50% done cause it's built. We just have to do all kinds of stuff to make it look good. Um, so anyway, we got the sub box out, got the sub out. We're going to be, we're going to be swapping the sub too. I've got this sub sold. We're doing a 15 that can handle some more power because we're overpowering this one at 2000 Watts RMS. Uh, and it only calls for 1500 RMS. So we have to run the amp like real low. And I'm also debating on doing an aero port, but that'll be like the last thing that I do after I make it look good because I'm happy with how it sounds right now. We just have to make it look good. So one other thing that we also have to do is the holes. One other thing that we also have to do is the holes in the seats. We're going to have to get some big washers for the bolts that go through the seat holes. And we're going to be drilling out those seat holes right there. We're going to be drilling them out bigger because we need to move the seats over this way some on the passenger side and move the seat over that way some on the driver's side because this box is just a hair wider than we intended it to be. So we've got a lot of sanding to do. We've got this front piece that we've still got to build and form, but we'll get it all done. So right now, I'm not even sure where, where we're going to start out or what we're going to do. Uh, I guess we need to get it fitted in there properly first and then worry about the aeroport and everything else. You ready, Colt? Myrtle Beach Crunch. Myrtle Beach Crunch has started. Let's go. All right, guys. So me and Colt just now got this thing sanded down and we've went over it multiple times uh, by hand and stuff. And we think that once it's bedlinered, it should be very, very smooth. But of course, once we bedline it, we could always sand down areas that are kind of not perfect and then re-bedline you know, at that one side because the bedliner is super easy to use. And the more you put on, I would think the better. I don't really know, but obviously we don't want to put too much on to make it too thick and we don't want to spray it too light, but we'll figure that out whenever we get there. I sanded the whole back side, top side, both sides. Didn't touch the bottom because it's never going to be seen. Got all of these like little contours the same on each side, this contour with that contour. So the only thing that we pretty much have left before we could bedliner it is I need to get the box back in the truck and fit it up to the center console, uh, to the dash. I need to get the center console fitted up to the dash and build this plate right here. And I may have to Bondo it in or screw it in and then do some Bondo to fill that in. But we have to build that one trim ring which i have a piece of kydex that people make holsters out of and i'm wanting to literally cut out a piece that's you know just like an inch too long and i'm wanting to lay it across the dash and use a heat gun and literally heat the kydex up until it molds to the dash and then if i could just figure out a way to attach that kydex to this and then bedliner it all together and like put some bondo underneath it to like bond it to the wood even better and screw it to the wood and bond it and smooth it, that piece of kydex would actually be the piece that mounts up to the bit or to the dash. So we'll have to figure that out. I'll probably do that off camera or maybe just video a little bit of fitting that up. But we got the thing sanded. So we're making headway. We're making progress. One of the other things that we have to figure out is how I'm going to mount this thing down. So right in here, we do have a cross bracing, which I think is a little overkill. So I'm going to take out the brace that goes side to side. And I'm just going to cut it out with a saw saw. And then once we get that out, that's going to add a little bit more airspace. And I'm going to recalculate all of our airspace, of course. Clean out the inside of the box. Um, there's a hole down here where I'm going to have to put a terminal where I just ran the speaker wires. And then right here, we have a little bitty pinhole. I'm not sure if that's letting air out or not. And then right here, we have a little bitty pinhole. So I will bondo those in and smooth those in. Um, right here, we have just a little crack. Um, it's not a crack like in a bad way. That's just one of the Keef bins that the wood glue has kind of faded out. 
or cracked out of. So we'll bondo that in and smooth that down and get it pushed in there real good. But yeah, we've got it completely sanded down. All of the harsh lines and everything knocked down. So the bed liner is textured. So I think that's gonna look really, really good. Um, and then of course, we're gonna do a top plate up here that will be cut out and formed to this. And then that will be wrapped in tan leather. And then we've got our cup holder that goes on here, which let me grab right quick. So we've got the powder coated cup holders right here. And I'm just gonna get that fitted right here. So then that'll be like that. And obviously these edges on this board I'm going to round and I'm not sure if I'm going to use the magnets like I had said or if I'm going to use some Velcro that'll just be hidden. And then, of course, if you want to get into the storage compartment, just lift up. And we've got to find some foam to put down in that storage compartment. I want a wall. I want, I want all the walls to be foam and the floor to be foam. So we'll have to get that figured out. Go. Cool. <laughs> <Not> really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we just now came inside. Uh, this will be the only day that Colt's helping us with the sub box build, but we will continue it tomorrow or the day after. Got a couple sets of headlights that I've got to paint, so I'm not really sure exactly what day, but that doesn't matter for you all. So next time you all see me, which will be right here in a second, maybe in a couple of days, and we will get back started on it. Probably have the bed liner by then, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build like the beauty piece that goes up at the dash and then bed liner, or if I'm gonna, I guess I should probably do that first, even though I don't want to. So this will be a couple day process and a couple days of videoing, but I will see you all the next day that we film. Okay guys, so I've got that piece of Kydex that I was telling you about, and I just took it and I screwed it on right here and then heated this up and formed it and bent it over. And of course, all this will get some Bondo and completely smooth that. You'll never even know that, that was a piece, you know, like added on. And then once we bedliner, of course, we'll be putting Bondo across through here as well and ramp that and make it smooth. So now I've got it mounted on one side and it fits up there pretty flush. After I get it formed in, I may obviously I have to take it in and out of the truck to really get it to fit right. Uh, and doing some sanding and bonding, but I'm gonna heat this up and fold it down and then put another screw in it and just kind of see how it looks. So we got the Kydex piece built and molded in and it actually looks really, really good. So this corner right here has a very very thin coat of bondo it was obviously super thick um but i smoothed it all down and it looks really really good i am actually super happy with it these deep lines and stuff i'm not sure if i'm gonna go back to the deep ones and put in a little bit of spot putty uh, just like the really 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 rough stuff like right through here i probably will go in there and put just a little bit of spot putty but like I said, the bed liner is textured. Oh, it's falling. Oh. Um, right here, there's one little divot right there. So this spot right here, these two spots right here, I will put a little bit of spot putty in off camera. But as far as prep work goes, that's gonna be all. So we're just gonna put some spot putty through here, sand that down, put some spot putty on each side in these big deep spots and then sand that down and then we'll be ready for bed liner. But before I bed liner it, I wanna go ahead and put the arrow port in. So we're actually gonna be adding a four inch arrow port and with all the box calculators that I've used to calculate the arrow port, um, I think we're gonna do it eight inches deep or maybe 10 inches deep. I can't remember. Um, I have it all screenshot on my phone. So I'll have to cut out a circle in the box right here and put the arrow port in and hopefully, um, it doesn't get completely covered by the seat and it lets it breathe some. That's kind of my only worry. Of course, before I put the aeroport in, I will figure that out. 
So that's gonna be pretty much all for this video, guys. In the next video, we're gonna be, uh, all of the spot putting, everything will already be done and sanded. This thing will be completely cleaned and prepped and we will be ready to figure out exactly where the aero port is gonna go. So like I said, I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna put that aero port, but I did get the sub box back in the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you inside the truck right quick. And then that's gonna be all in this video. So right here is the fitment that we've got going. Super, super clean, flush fit all up through there. And then I'll go around to the other side right quick. So super clean, still a little bit of room. Uh, I don't want it like making contact of course cause it would like squeak and creak and make noise. I may take uh, like a little thin piece of like rubber trim and put in there to fill the gap. And what I mean by a thin piece of the rubber trim is something like this. So it's like a foam material and it squashes in so it would kind of contour with it. And that's something that I would do after I get the box um, actually bedlinered and installed. And right here, if you follow the build and follow the truck, I still have to put these taillights back together. These things turned out so killer. Um, those turned out absolutely awesome. Still got another set right there to build. But if y'all enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget, drop it a comment, drop it a thumbs up, and don't forget, get down there and subscribe. We're almost to 10K subscribers. It's so freaking awesome. I'm so excited, and I can't wait. I'm so glad that we're finally making some headway on this Subbox build. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of the Subbox series. I know it's been like a 10-month-long process or however long this has been going on. Way too long. This should have been so much quicker, but I've just been so busy and doing a million other things. But painting headlights and taillights and subbox build and making YouTube videos are like my priority. Getting the truck ready for Myrtle Beach Truck Week, you know, those are all of like the main priorities right now. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I hope you all are excited to see this thing done finally. I think it's I'm I think you guys are going to be dumbfounded whenever you actually see it done and installed in the truck. I think it's going to be, I think it's really, really going to look good, especially after I get the leather and upholstery um, for those top plates and the cup holders. And it, I think it'll all get tied together really, really good. But with that being said, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And like I said, don't forget, get on there and click that subscribe button. As always, guys, always remember, everybody starts out as a nobody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.